On this episode, we're doing yoga in the park. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Pumped. I'm here with Maggie Lane, yoga instructor. Hi. Thank you, Maggie, for being on the show today. Oh, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. How did you get involved in yoga? I've always enjoyed the mindset and mentality that goes along with being a yogi or a yogini. Uh, it's really relaxing and calming. It really creates that mind, body, spirit connection and alignment. So it's just really fulfilling and puts me at peace throughout my whole day. That's actually pretty cool. It sounds very relaxing. Yeah. How often do you do yoga? That's something you do every day, three times a week. I mean, is there a routine that you guys have? There can be a basic flow that one can do, but however, there are so many different types of yoga out there. It just depends what's fitting for your day or your lifestyle or your personality. And that's the great thing and beauty with yoga, depending on what it is that you need. I do this one called um, vinyasa yoga, which is a combination of the breath, body, and movement. So that actually creates a nice flow, creating energy, blood flow. It's really healing and soothing to the mind as well. And it gives your body an opportunity and mind to focus. Is that something that you can do, you have to go to a certain uh, f facility or can you do that in a park or any open area? That's what per is perfect about yoga. You can do yoga anywhere. And that's the blessing and beauty of things. So this park is the perfect environment to do so because there are still some distractions of the environment. So you can go in you know, within the body or in the mind and focus so that you're not distracted, but at peace and one with not only the self, but the environment. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can you show me a few of the things? Can yeah. I kind of we do like, like, a, like a basic startup for people who've never seen yoga, me being one of them. Mm -hmm. Of course, let's start. All right, All right, are you ready? Let's do this. All right, usually we don't do yoga with shoes on. Okay. But, so we can take them off if you're let's preferring do it. to do so. Let's do I don't so. care. Let's be, let's be yoga y. It's really nice to take off your shoes and socks to have a solid foundation and also to really ground yourself with the earth. So one thing that we like to talk about in yoga is the opposition. So you want to be grounded yet elevated at the same time. So you want to think about postural alignment. So what you want to do is stand with your feet hip width apart or okay. six to eight inches in alignment with your knees, hips, and shoulders. Okay. Release your lower back if you can and engage your stomach. Okay. Good, so you want to feel no tension in the lower body. Shoulders are back and down and the neck is nice and long. So pretend that there is a nice string hanging from the back crown of your head all the way through the tailbone connecting to the floor. Okay. So you feel grounded yet elevated. All right. Does that feel good? I do feel, yes. You want to make sure you're also relaxed as well. So knees slightly bent. Okay, work on the relaxing part there. There cool. we go. All the right. The beauty of being grounded, which is really nice, is connecting to the earth. You can also feel the nutrients and feel the energy. Um, Yoga is all about energy. And even though we're still and within the body, we're also still moving and still alive. So it's stillness yet energetic. It's kind of neat. We are just currently we are in San Mastiti, or mountain pose. Okay. So what we're gonna do is put our hands at our heart center. Inhale our hands down and up over the head. Keep your shoulders away from your ears if you can. Okay. Without lifting them like that. And then you're gonna swan dive down, flat back. And place your hands either on the floor. Okay. <laughs> or on the shins, depending on where you are. Okay. Or grab the back. And then try to get your chest, knees. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good. Some are better than others. <laughs> Let's come up. Ardha Uttanasana. This one is called, it's like a half folding pose. Okay. So you're going to inhale up and then exhale down. Back to Uttanasana, which is the full folding pose. Okay. Back out. So slight bend of the knees. Engage your core. You're going to release your hands down. With a flat back, you're going to come up, putting the weight through the heels. The hands can go over the head as the shoulders stay down, the neck is long, and bring your hands to the heart center. That's just a nice flow. Nice flow. <laughs> it's this a beginning flow. <laughs> so now what we can do is we can pair the movement with breath, and that's actually one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So we'll go a little bit faster this time. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. How is your lower back feeling? Amazing. 
you always want to check in, that's so good, that makes me super happy, with how your body is feeling. Okay. So everything should feel nice and elongated and you should feel no tension anywhere. So it's important that you're feeling good. And so this, you want this practice to be a part of your lifestyle so that you can do it daily, so that it's sustainable and not just for one day and one movement. So that's what's neat about it. So here we are in a park, able to move, but hopefully tomorrow we can be there too. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. All right, so let's start with that flow. Release the lower back, slight bend knees, shoulders back and down, neck long. So we're gonna inhale as our hands go down and then up over our head. Inhale, and then exhale as we swan dive down. All the way to Uttanasana, as far as you can go. Halfway up to Artha Uttanasana. You can fold back down into Uttanasana as you exhale. And then inhale up, flat back, engage your core, hands over your head, bring them to prayer to the heart center. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Very calm and at peace right now. All right, so let's do it a little faster. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say the move and whether you're inhaling and exhaling. Does that sound good? All right, let's do it. Start at the hands, the heart center. Release the lower back if you can. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and adjust you. Okay. Is that okay? Right. Engage your core slightly. Okay. And release your lower back. Does that make sense? So elongate your tailbone as much as you can. So there should be no tension here. Okay. Okay? So I'm actually gonna ask you to bring your shoulders slightly more forward. Mm, shoulders back and down. I should say your torso moving forward. There you go. Does that okay. make sense? So you can release the lower back. Okay. There you go. Do you feel better? Yeah, I do. A nice neck long. Yay! <laughs> How do you feel? Do you feel like you're slightly moving forward? It looks like you're almost leaning forward. Oh, but yeah. I really want you to le uh, release your lower back. Uh, Not tuck the pelvis, but elongate it. Okay. Does well, that make sense well, to you? Practice, yeah. I've got you know, time. every opportunity is, you know, there to get better. So I'm excited <laughs> for you. So we're going baby steps. We're doing great. This is super fun. And that's all yoga should be is fun, you know? And an opportunity to be with the self and really to get to know your body. So that's what's great about it. Okay, so let's try this. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Shoulders back and down, release that lower back. Engage your core. Okay. So we're gonna inhale our arms down and up over our head. And exhale forward, swan diving down to Uttanasana. Inhale halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale down, Uttanasana. And inhale your arms up with a flat back over your head and to heart center. Ta-da! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's just the beginning of something like this, right? Yeah. And so there's many stages of going, I mean, this is obviously a beginner pose. That's correct. And I need more and more work, we both saw that one. But as we go into this one. You're natural. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well guys, we, we, we wanna share how important it is for yoga and being part of, the, of one of your fitness, part of one with the earth, part of one being alive, right? Exactly. Now, I wanna thank you so much for being on the show today. Yeah. I wanna thank you for the knowledge of this. Yoga is something to me is a, is, a, is a different realm, and I like to get myself more into this. So thank you very much for opening my eyes here. Thank you. Thank, thank, <laughs> thank you, guys. You. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching another episode. Pumped! Pumped. <laughs>